So Bill Maher went after the Justice Democrats, completing his plunge into neoliberal shittiness. Take a look. It's a bullshit purity test. BDS is a bullshit purity test by people who want to appear woke but actually slept through history class. It's That's true. Thank you. It's, it's predicated on this notion, I think it's, it's very shallow thinking, that the Jews are in Israel mostly white and the Palestinians are browner, so they must be innocent and correct and the Jews must be wrong. As, as if the occupation came right out of the blue, that this completely peaceful people found themselves occupied. Forget about the infitadas and the suicide bombings and, and the rockets and how many wars. And uh, let me read Omar Barghouti is one of the co-founders of the movement. His quote, no Palestinian, rational Palestinian, not a sellout Palestinian will ever accept a Jewish state in Palestine. So that's where that comes from this movement, someone who doesn't even want a, Palest a Jewish state at all. Somehow this side never gets presented in the American media. It's very odd. Congresswoman Omar has said things like, um, it's all about the Benjamins. Israel has hypnotized the world. May Allah awaken the people and help them see the evil doings of Israel. She apologized for it, but it's out there. Jews control the world. Jews control the money. Right. I, I can see why they don't get a hero's welcome. So he does the old tap dance of, is she anti-Semitic? I guess Ilhan Omar's anti-Semitic. I guess she is. Look, she said e evil, you know, evil acts of Israel. That was literally during the 2014 massacre where Netanyahu's government cut the grass and killed 80% civilians in Gaza, including 500 children. Are you not allowed to call that evil? I'd call that evil. I call it evil when the U.S. kills innocent civilians in Iraq and Afghanistan. I'm not allowed to call it evil when Israel does it because something something anti-Semitism? That's what that was in reference to. Bill, all about the Benjamins was in specific reference to AIPAC buying politicians to do the bidding of Israel. That's what we call factual. That's what we call... Something that actually happens, which is terrible for our country, which is supposed to be a constitutional republic and a representative democracy. And before you say, oh, she singled out Israel, utter nonsense. She has also called out the Saudi lobby. But you've never called her Islamophobic. Somehow when she calls out Saudi Arabia, it's totally fine. And by the way, you pretend like she doesn't do it, even though she has done it. When she calls out the influence of Saudi lobbying and Saudi money, oh, that's totally fine. But when she calls out the Israeli lobby and Israeli money, anti-Semite! Do you understand how stupid you sound? I mean, he's just feeding into the same nonsense DC sleazebag smears that were pervasive all over the place. They were equally bullshit then as they are now. And he's acting like, I could see why they're not getting a hero's welcome. Wait a second, Bill. You're like Mr. Free Speech. You, you always talk about how free speech is an important issue. So you're telling me you believe in free speech unless U.S. Congress people criticize a foreign government and then you're totally on board with that foreign government banning them from entering the country? Because they hurt somebody's feelings? Because Netanyahu and the Israeli government are snowflakes and they need a safe space? So now you support that. That's totally fine. Ban them because you don't like their political opinions. I thought you were the free speech guy. I thought you were the free expression guy. Unbelievable how quickly they flip. Uh, man, he ha he really has gotten worse and worse and worse. Now, let's get a little bit more specific here. Obviously, those were smears against Ilhan Omar, saying she's an anti-Semite. That's utter nonsense, or at least implying she was an anti-Semite. He's called BDS a bullshit purity test. And then he goes on to say, well, you know, you know what this idea comes from? It's because Jews are white and the Palestinians are brown. So they think, well, obviously, the, the white people have to be the bad people. I've been running in lefty circles for a long time. You know how many lefties I've heard say the reason we're against Israel is because they have white skin and the reason we're for Palestinians is because they have brown skin? That's how many. Zero. Donut. Nada. Nothing. Nobody. Ever. 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 Nobody has ever said that ever in the history of advocacy for Palestinian human rights. Nobody has ever said the reason we're doing this is because we think the Jews are white, therefore they must be evil, and the Palestinians are brown, therefore they must be wonderful. Nobody's ever said that ever. Ever. And you know that. You know that, Bill, but you have no real argument, so you have to strawman your opponent. If you listen to what they say, 
And by the way, you could easily do that if you wanted to. You'd find out. The whole point is, they want Palestinian human rights because they're under permanent occupation right now. Now, by the way, there are plenty of people who support BDS, who support a one-state solution. There are plenty of people who support BDS, who support a two-state solution. There's also different kinds of BDS. There's BDS of all of Israel, and there's also BDS of the settlements. Notice, there's no nuance, there's no distinctions, there's no conversation, because Bill Maher's whole point is to just smear all of them. The whole idea is, you're supposed to think any conversation that's talking against the Israeli occupation is somehow anti-Semitic and you shouldn't have that conversation. And it is just totally dishonest and disgusting and disingenuous. And again, these are the same people who say, Bro, I'm all about conversation, bro! Let's have the conversation, I'm all about the marketplace of ideas! Unless you bring up an idea I don't like, in which case I'll smear, smear you and pretend you have no point at all and say we can't even engage in that conversation because it's anti-Semitic anti or some bullshit. On the BDS website, you scroll down, and not even that far down, they're condemning anti-Semitism. They're bringing up specific examples, specific cases, specific groups of uh, anti-Semitism, and they condemn it in no uncertain terms. They're a group that's flat out against anti-Semitism. Again, the whole point is to bring about Palestinian human rights. And there, there's disagreement within the BDS movement on, hey, what's the ultimate goal here? One state solution, two state solution. What everybody agrees on is Palestinians deserve human rights. I mean, it's really disgusting and it's really disingenuous, uh, uh, the way that he talks about this issue. And also, I like how he said, uh, he called the intifadas, infitadas. <laughs> I mean, listen, we can give him a pass on that because he just slipped up. But still, it's just kind of funny that in, this midst, in the midst of this, like, self-righteous, smug-ass rant where he's, like, looking down on everybody for, you don't know what you're talking about. He's like, the infitadas. Come on, dude. Come on, man. So, listen. Bottom line is, he doesn't want you to talk about this issue at all. And if you do, he'll accuse you of being an anti-Semite. You're not allowed to talk about, um, apartheid. You're not allowed to talk about endless occupation. Um, and by the way, the main response to, to Bill Maher and the important, most important response is do you not realize that this movement is exactly analogous to the movement to end apartheid in South Africa and that what he's doing effectively and historically is gaslighting on the side of the racist South African government like do you not understand that that's the that's analogous in history, is you're saying like, oh yeah, the right-wing government of Israel, which is permanently occupying and expanding and treating Palestinians in a horrendous way, I'm going to gaslight to defend them, and what, you think this is going to reflect well on you in the future? There's a reason why every other developed country, the U.S. is the only one that doesn't do it, but every other developed country... Is like, yeah, Israel's violating international law and they need to stop doing it. And it's not because all the other um, countries are somehow closet anti-Semites. It's got a lot more to do with the fact that Israel is violating international law. But he acts like that entire conversation is illegitimate. And he acts like it's some sort of like fake woke brigade that's, you know, against uh, Israel simply because they have white skin and pro-Palestinian simply because they have brown skin. So he has to totally obfuscate, conflate the issue, sidestep, dodge, straw man, in order to even make a semblance of a nonsense case. And of course, he ends up doing the same thing that he whines against college kids for all the time, which is false accusations of bigotry because he has no point. <laughs>